Hi guys, it's ASBYT and welcome back to a brand new video and today we are going to be taking a deep dive into the brand new software world of Huawei, Hongmeng OS, OcoS, whatever you want to call it, it is certainly making headlines. With rumours and leaks coming thick and fast, could this brand new operating system be better than Google's Android? Well, let's take a look. So without further ado, let's get straight to it. If you're new to the channel and love everything tech, news, unboxings, reviews, then make sure you hit that subscribe button and ding that notification bell so that every time I post a video, you are notified and can stay up to date with all of the latest tech. Right, so very quick refresh in case you've been living under a rock for the last couple of months. Tensions have been rising between China and the US due to the ongoing trade war between the two countries for quite a long time now. Now that tension was actually heightened very recently when the US decided to make a new legislation that prevented US companies from actually working working or trading with Huawei, one of the biggest manufacturers of technology in China. Now, the reason the US government gave was espionage. Of course, no one really knows for sure unless you work for the US government. And if you do, let me know in the comments and tell me whether it's true or not. <laughs> no, no, don't, because you could get into some hot water. Now, as a result of this decision, certain US companies such as Google have complied with these sanctions and have made the decision to no longer trade with Huawei, for the time being at least. So this means current Huawei devices such as the P30 Pro, for example, will still have access to Google services, but it's short-lived. As a result, Huawei have of course had to look elsewhere, and elsewhere they have looked. <laughs> what is that? According to all sources, Huawei will be showcasing their brand new Hongmeng OS, or that's quite a mouthful, or Oco OS in their brand new Huawei Mate 30 and 30 Pro, that whole series, which some of you might be thinking, what, that, that's quite a turnaround since we heard the news a couple of months ago. How on earth is this even possible? How have they managed to just create a new operating system, things that take years to actually come into fruition? Well, Huawei have been working on this for many years. Some people say seven or even 10 years in the making, this software has been in the process of being developed. Yes, of course, this ban has pushed the development window forwards, but they believe they're ready. Now you might be asking, why did Huawei begin developing their own software seven odd years ago? And there's two main reasons. One, they wanted to be ready to jump ship if something like this actually happened and they weren't able to use, for whatever reason, Android anymore. And the second main reason is that they wanted their plan B software to become their plan A software. They didn't like the fact they were so heavily reliant on Google. And in fact, this can be seen across all of their devices, hardware and software. They have been developing and creating things in-house more and more over the last few years. Their Kieran SOCs that they use in a lot of their smartphones. Their smartwatches also use their in-house OS, which is called LightOS, I believe, an alternative to, again, Android Wear from Google. They're one of the leading innovators in 5G technology. So they didn't like the fact that they were so heavily reliant on Google. And of course, in-house production is far more cost effective. So for them, it's win-win. So while they still rely on certain other companies and certain companies that are still residing in the US, that through one way or another, either the bank or them themselves, they're becoming far less reliant. In other good news for Huawei, it also seems like other pretty big manufacturers are looking to Huawei increasingly more and more to create things for them. Well, word on the street is, <laughs> word, I've said it again, word on the street. Word on the street is that Chinese brands Xiaomi and Oppo have been testing this demo or beta software from Huawei on their own devices. And again, massive pinch of salt, huge rumor, certain in-house voices have suggested that this software might potentially be up to 60% faster on those devices than Android itself. Now, certain comments I got on my last Huawei ban video was, well, if they don't have Google services, how can you download apps? Where's the Google Play Store? Well, early rumors suggested that Huawei were gonna team up with Aptoid, which is kind of like an unofficial version of the Google Play Store. You can download Android apps and APKs from there. There are hundreds of apps on that store. Some of them you can't even get on the Google Play Store. However, now it seems with the brand new Huawei OS, you will be able to download Android apps natively through the Huawei App Gallery, which is the name of the store which comes pre-installed on Huawei and Honor devices currently. Some call it bloatware. Well, it won't be very soon. It will be the only wear. That doesn't make any sense. 
<laughs> the operating system also shows signs of Android Green Alliance standard. It means that it is compatible with pretty much every single Android app. Certain Google apps aside. Now, if you take into account how many smartphones are created and sold by Huawei each year, and the fact that app developers wouldn't have to make significant changes to their individual apps in order for it to work with Huawei devices, it might seem to most people like a bit of a no-brainer to get involved. One potential downside of this setup that has been rumored is the fact that certain apps on this brand new OS will need a performance boost in order to work. And that of course will be something that will need to be monitored, tweaked, all involved parties will need to work hard on, suggesting the performance of certain Android apps that haven't been adapted for the brand new OS would be significantly less than on an Android device. So while they've got their work cut out, it's not all doom and gloom. Huawei applied for trademarks of the Hong Meng name in multiple different countries, Canada, South Korea, New Zealand, Cambodia, and quite a few more. The trademark covers televisions, computers, smartphones, and Huawei's CEO, Richard Yu, has said that Hongmeng OS or Oak OS will be ready for the end of 2019 in China and early 2020 globally. This would tie in with the release of the Huawei Mate 30 line, although it may mean that we won't get a global ROM of the Mate 30 until early next year, a few months later than we normally do with the Mate line. Of course, the future of Huawei's brand new OS is not black and white, it's green. <laughs> Bad joke. Sorry. The future is not black and white. There will be huge markets in the world where sales of Huawei products will be affected because of this ban. And there is no doubt that Huawei sales have taken a massive hit. Latest figures suggest anywhere up to 40% decrease in global sales. Don't ask me where I got that information because I, d I don't know. I've probably just made it up. No, I, I have read it. Of course, with this ban and the brand new OS, Huawei smartphone sales will take time to recover, but I don't think Huawei, and I don't think they will, should down tools right away and give up, especially when you've got companies like Xiaomi and Oppo potentially being early adopters of this brand new OS, companies who already have a huge market share, the future could be bright for Huawei. So here's where you guys come in. What do you think of the idea of a brand new OS? Is it something you could see yourself moving to from either iOS or Android? Are you potentially going to be an early adopter of Hongmeng or Oak OS? Or do you think it's a mountain too high to climb? Or do you think that Trump and the US government will change their stance and they will allow Huawei to trade with US companies again. And as a result, Huawei will start working again with Google and Android. Like and share if you did enjoy this video. Bloody mosquito. Subscribe and hit that notification bell if you're new to the channel and want to be notified every time I post a video on anything tech, pretty much daily content here on YouTube. I love you and leave you. I'll see you in the next one. Says BRT. Peace out.